I'm Jackson Hoyt, I'm 25, and I make jambings. Uh, jambing is a Chinese, really popular Chinese street food. Um, I lived in China for a year and a half, and I would eat the jambing probably four times a week on my way to school. Jambing has been known all the way back to 480 AD, and it originates in Tianjin, China. With all the combinations of jambings, over all of China, there's over 650,000 different types of jamming. You want to make sure you have a hot surface to cook the crepe on. So that way it cooks consistently, evenly, and quickly. I make the jamming. I always flip it so the egg's on the outside. But you don't even have to do that. You can leave the egg on the inside. That's actually pretty popular in China that way. But I've seen it done both ways. Um, just prep work, learning how to prep enough ingredients so that I won't be running out in the middle through the shift because it slows down the time it takes to put out GM beings and that slows down. Everything makes people have to wait longer and people don't like to wait. I really, really appreciated the GM being when I was in China and uh, I had a lot of foreign friends, non-Chinese friends in China and they all love the GM being. So, I always thought, wow, I don't think it's just Chinese people who like the jambing. I think everyone will like the jambing. So uh, it was something I wanted to bring here. I'm from Eugene, so it's kind of, uh, I'd like to bring it first for my people, and then maybe someday somewhere else. I mean, who does not like the jambing? Let's be honest, it's pretty awesome. Uh, I think it's just awesome and that's all there is to it. I think anyone would like it. Combination of flavor and texture, it's pretty, pretty awesome. Mm, probably the Yotao hot dog or uh, wonton crisp and bacon. Uh, the flour mixture I use, it's, I did a lot of research on different flour mixtures and I found like hundreds. So it's kind of just mix and match and try and pick one that works for me and found one I like. So that makes it unique. I also, I make my jam bean with a sweet soybean sauce infused with Thai chili, which I'm not sure I've seen that done before, but it depends if you like spicy. And I also use like roasted habanero flakes if you like it really spicy. And uh, actually a lot of my, my most frequent customers they always order the spice level 5. A lot of my regulars, they get spice level 5. And it's because I really like spicy food. I think they do too, and they can appreciate how spicy 5 is. So Mine's kind of like a fusion jam bing in a lot of ways. But you can make it pretty close to traditional if that's the way you like it.